everything works out the way it's supposed nice. to. for the BD. So where are we at exactly? Who was that? Ah, uh, what the hell? I take it she didn't survive very long. Bro, what? That's like the quickest intro of the entire show, I swear. It wasn't her, was it? Was it her? We're, get, we're getting Carol again. Come on! I, I, I don't know why I'm celebrating that so much. <laughs> Sleep, Lizzie. I'm okay. Sorry. Telephone ringing that I don't think anyone picked up. Um, what was I saying? Maybe there will be kids there. Even if their parents couldn't keep them safe. Oh, yeah. it, it is going to be her running around with the walkers, isn't it? Because it's like... She's got this thing where they're still in there, but I can understand why some people will hold that view and I'm, I'm not saying that I wouldn't. I'm sure there are other people that would. I'm sure mo many of you would have that view if you went through a scenario like this. And it's almost like you desperately cling on to hope to the point of even delusion. But it's dangerous nonetheless. Even if there was someone in there, it is too dangerous to risk. Did you have kids? I did. It's really crazy to think what that she... she like? I completely forgotten that she had a kid. Like, it's just so long ago. Sweet. Do you miss her? Every day. It's like, it is crazy how you just forget, hey? Do you miss me? Too much is going on. I'm not gonna have to miss you. Would you miss me? I hate those sorts of foreshadowing. Get on your feet. Oh. But I've got this bad feeling that ah, oh, there's still the conflict between Tyrese and Carol to come, and goodness knows what it means. What do you think? Three days out? Four days? No idea. I haven't seen any of those maps at the crossing, so I'm not sure. Who knows? This is tough. Frickin' could be ages. The walkers. Mm. She doesn't. She doesn't see what they are. She thinks they're just people. Different. And the widow does listen to talk. Like you adopted us? Yeah, just like the little <laughs> double. You're way more like Huck Finn. You're not even grossed out by dead rabbits. Can I just say, like, something that I've just remembered? Like, the, someone feeding the rats? We still haven't had an explanation on that. My bet is still her. She was doing it to literally feed them. Like, this dangerous ideology of trying to live with the walkers. But yeah, we will come to that when we need to come to that. Right now, we're on a track, on a path. Determinus, I think it's called. Yeah. Terminus. There's a fire somewhere. It must be a big one. It isn't anywhere around here. It must be people. Your turn. I just forgot that Judith was even there. <laughs> Wait, is that a person? Please take a weapon. He's got a massive hammer in his pocket, so that's okay. Kirby! He's gonna say, don't kill it, right? Sometimes we have to kill them. I know that. Sometimes we don't. No, but that... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but that is not the correct logic to have. It is not. Someone could stumble upon this walker, boom, bitten in the ankle. We've seen it happen before, actually. We saw Carl messing around with a walker, get frightened and then run off and leave it alive. What happened? You know, I'm not saying it was Carl's fault, but... One second. What I sacrificed for you guys. Uh, dinner's ready, but I don't want to eat it in front of the camera because I feel like it will go cold and I won't, yeah, be able to eat it and talk efficiently. So, yeah. Unluggy. I will eat later. You can toughen up. I don't have to be tough. I can run. I'm good at that. So she's no. got almost like the opposite. Like, she's like... My daughter ran. Flight. And it wasn't enough. I taught the kids at the prison to do more than that. Mm -hmm. I can kill walkers. Killing people is wrong. Someone killed Karen and David. I 
just killed them. Whoa. They were nice. What about people who tried That's to kill them? Carol. Him? People came in and killed our friends. And I feel sorry for them because they probably weren't like that before. I mean, this girl is spitting facts, but obviously it's it's not the best logic, but she is spitting facts. And I'll tell you now, I've said this time and time again. I believe what people are like before the apocalypse is highly important to just consider. It doesn't need to be something that changes our plan of action or the way we act in this current world. It's just something that you need to think about or consider when you do what you do. You can't just do what you do having a blank expression with zero thought after, because then what, what does killing mean? It doesn't mean anything. Killing needs to mean something. If killing means nothing, then it becomes too easy. I don't believe that's right. I think killing needs to have a meaning. And if you don't think about that meaning, then are you really doing it for the right reasons? That's my logic. You have to change. Everyone does now. Things don't just work out. I don't know, Carol, but I don't believe that everyone should change to be the same. That's all I will say. Everything works out the way it's supposed to. This is the far. This is the yeah. This is the house from the start, isn't it? With the girl running around outside with the walker and. <sighs> Why do I feel like one of them is gonna die in the next couple of episodes? What are these? The cons. So it's, 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 it's almost fenced. Like they could technically try and fence it. Look. There's the smoke. But that's what we were smelling. That's not what Daryl and Beth set fire, is it? Is it? It's a shame you can't puff smoke up it's writing the name Daryl. You're going to need to stay and watch. Stay strong, little lady. So they're, they're guarding outside alone with a baby. Oh my goodness. They're going to find one in there and they're going to stop it. They aren't people. But you're wrong. Oh. All of you. <laughs> yeah, the, the thing, it's the thing, man. What's she going to do? Just like, stand there? Jesus, man. I wonder what it will take for her to realize. At this point in time, like, unless someone's with her, she is a ticking time bomb. Why are you crying? I will say. Gosh, I feel bad for her, because if you, if those are your views, you know, those are your views. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of kids feel that way. It's just everyone else's beliefs are being forced upon them. Actually, you know what? Someone asked me the other day, would I eat meat in the apocalypse? Would I be vegan? And I remember thinking to myself, like, it's the same argument with me with killing people. I feel like at the start, I feel like I would be stubborn. I feel like my brain would be like, nope, I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not. And then I feel like it would take something quite severe to sort of jolt my brain and then go, okay, this is something I need to be properly thinking about. And you know what? You probably could be vegan in the apocalypse. If it was really thought out and you were really fortunate to land in a situation where you could be, you probably could be, but all things saying I couldn't, then I would obviously do what I had to do to survive. I feel like survival instincts would be too strong. I wouldn't just not. I'm gonna name her Griselda Gunderson. <laughs> the problem is I think well, she's too naive for the apocalypse, or too stubborn and now she's too do sweet. Is bag when I'm dead and too stubborn, too sweet. Maybe I should name that episode. I'm not used to this. Used to what? We're in a living room. Yeah. It ain't so no relax. prison. Well. I wouldn't say relax. You can sleep with one eye open, rather than two. You get away from it! She was playing with me, she wanted a friend! You killed her! It's the same thing! What if I killed you? What if I killed you? Jesus Christ. You don't understand. You didn't have to. You didn't have to. You killed her! Like, what are they gonna you do? You killed her! I don't even know, man. Like, that's just dangerous. And, like, I can understand why she's upset, but, like, I'm more scared for Carol now, because Carol's sitting there like, how on earth do I protect this girl? The smoke's black. If it was white, the fire wouldn't be burning anymore. The fire's still burning. Damn, son. Yeah. I couldn't either, man. I couldn't either. Maybe we don't need to go to Terminus. Because Rag. But what about everyone else? What about your sister? We can't stay here. I trust you. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can get that anywhere else. Oh, for God's sakes. Well, we stay. let me we tell you a here. secret. Mm. 
Sorry. What did I say? That was my theory, that it was her doing that, which means how many incidents do we have because of that? Because of the bunching of the walkers? Those things, they're bad, they are. We can't pretend anymore. Oh Look gosh, here me. comes an argument. You are. They want to kill you. They just want me to change. Make me feel like them. Maybe I should change. I can make you all understand. Lizzie. Creepy when there's things like that. Maybe she's realizing that. But she should not take that for oh God. Like her sister almost died for her to realize this. This is one of the reasons why I thought that what Carol was doing was right because I remember saying way back when we were at the prison, um, there was that whole thing about her teaching people to use guns and teaching people, pe teaching people how to defend themselves like little kids. And they were like, oh, have you spoken to their families about that? And she was like, no, they might not agree. And she's like, well, then you shouldn't be doing it. But my argument was, I can understand why she's doing it more than why she wouldn't. I said this on the farm. I said this way back at the farm. Like, if you bubble wrap yourselves from this world, you risk being too soft when the, you know, Grim Reaper comes knocking, like you're not prepared. You mean thrown into a world which your whole thinking and understanding and everything just doesn't fit. Obviously we want to protect our kids from this world. We want to. We've seen this with Carl, we've seen it in action. We wanted Carl to be protected, we didn't want him using weapons, we wanted him being kept away from it all. But time after time we realise that it's not that simple. I can understand also the other side of it though, I really can. But this, again, for me, is so clever because the writing is showing us, like, the trouble with belief and the trouble with being stubborn and not being able to change your perspective or not being able to adapt to the apocalypse. I think that's probably one of the most key skills that you need to survive, and that is adaptability. And obviously, we're seeing her change now. She's developing, right? They've just managed to fight those walkers off. But at what cost could it have come? I know what I have to do now. I know. I know what I have to do. It's ugly. Don't like how vague it's scary is. and it does change you. <laughs> I'm happy that we've had this episode. I used to make these with my grandma when I was little. Who knows, it's maybe people will like... disagree with me though. Maybe people disagree with me. But I also believe we can't just have people running man? around doing what they want without me. consultation. That's what I sort of believe. I mentioned that before as well. There has to be consultation, there has to be deliberation before we do stuff. Carol killing those people without speaking to everyone? Wrong. About Karen. Don't tell me she says something now because then what? I like I said, don't believe he will kill her. I don't believe he'll kill Carol, but Carol, but I don't happened. believe he'll forgive her. Not immediately, at least. You did right by those girls. You did right by everyone. Carol, how long can she go being like just accepting? Oh my days, man. We'll get one yet. If they break apart now, if they fall apart because of what happened now, I think it's so much worse because it's just like the girls are, the, are sort of alone, I guess. Maybe they split up even further. Then you've got solo people alone. Maybe Tyrese goes off by himself. Who knows? As much as he needs to know and he has the right to know and someone should have said something to him well and truly before this point, I feel like it's just going to have to happen when we get to Terminus. I just, I can't see a positive way other than that. And even then, when we get to Terminus, it's not going to be fun. Brain. Oh. oh! Please tell me this is some kind of joke. No, no, no! We have to wait. I need to show you. You'll see. You'll finally get it. We can wait. You just give me the gun. We can wait. I swear. Judith can change too. I was just about to... She can't even walk yet. She was just about to kill... Yeah. Oh my god. Back to the house and we'll have lunch.
Like, this is just, that's just delusion. But this must be what happens when you spend too much time thinking that they are people. Like, the fact that she's killed her sister, how can you live with that? She's gonna, they're gonna have to kill her. They're gonna have, I, I, that sounds crazy for me to say that, but they're gonna have to do something. That was just, something about that just makes me so mad, guys. You know what I thought she was gonna do? My gut feeling was saying she was gonna kill herself to prove that she comes back and she's, like, she can exist as this, this walker. That's what I thought she was gonna do, but her sister? Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm just really up frustrated and upset about this right now, but the thing is, is it's, it's all, it's so delusional. Like, it, it's, it's on the edge of, there's no coming back from that belief. What's gonna stop her believing that? What, the only thing I can think of is her being bitten or eaten by a walker. I don't know how they can live with her now. She has a shoebox full of mice. See? I was thinking, maybe she killed Karen and David. But I don't know how she could drag them away. What? Oh. So what do we do? Even if you did help her, then like, how does she feel when she's been helped the fact that she murdered her sister? Oh my, I'm shell-shocked, it's ridiculous. It's already there. I should have seen it. Bro, I was talking about educating people, like... <sighs> she can't be around other people. They're gonna have, they're gonna kill her, aren't they? She's gonna... Pain, man. Fire's still burning. No. Smoke's white. It's out. You know everything, ma'am. What is it? Are you mad at me? She's a Sorry. How do you even do that? She's only a little kid as well. I love you, Lizzie. <laughs> and everything works out the way it's supposed to. I don't know if I can watch this, man. Just... Just look at the flowers. Think about how that's gonna break Carol as well. That's horrible, man. That's actually disgusting. Why can't I just cry and then, like... It's because I'm so angry at these deaths, like... They, they, they feel so stupid, man. Like, is it just me that always feels like that? Like, it makes me, like, upset, but then I'm just like... All my brain does when this sort of thing happens is, how could we have prevented this? How could we have prevented this? How could we have prevented this? God's sakes. You see, this is what I mean, like, the poor little bloody deer, man. So oblivious. I killed Karen and David. Whoa! I had to stop the illness from breaking out. I had to stop other people from dying. Does he react? Oh, it I wasn't thought he was. You do what you have to do. I don't think he would do it. He wouldn't do it. Even back then, I didn't think he'd do it. But she's scared. No. No squid. Jesus Christ, what? He's got too big of a heart, man. What do you have to do? He will somewhat understand. As much as I don't agree with what Carol did, he will understand why. Come on, Tyrese. Yes. <sighs> we don't need to stay. And come on, Carol, for telling him. Oh. She did what she thought she had to do. There was never any bad intention in it. That's why I'm. That's why I love him.
I love him so freaking much because his heart is just this. Even back when he was as mad as he was, I don't think he would have killed her. And I still hold my belief that I didn't think Rick doing what he did the way he did was right. You can't be. But we've spoken about that anyway. How? We've spoken about it. So now it's literally just them two. You don't give up? Off to Terminus. Holy shoot, that episode sucked. <laughs> that is that, and there's too much going through here. Way too much going through my brain right now to confidently put together an outro. I will try, I will try my very best, but that was tough. I've gotten to the point with this show where very little makes me wanna cry, and I think the reason is because, like, well, I wanna cry, but it's like it doesn't happen. And I think the reason is because I've now become desensitized. Like, there's a the number of times we've had deaths that you just shake your head at, or the number of times that you just are too shocked to be upset, or too angry. That's what I've noticed. It just feels, for me, the emotion, the primary emotion that takes over is anger. I have hatred for this world, and it just takes over everything else. There's no room for it, you know, like, it's just like, oh, like, and I feel frustrated, and, and yeah. So this episode was Carol, Tyrese. I think the biggest thing to talk about is the fact that Carol's told Tyrese. And just like I said, like I didn't think he would do anything. Like I felt like he would understand more than, than not. I think I've always said that. I thought that Tyrese is ever since when I first saw him, ever since the initial moment, I've always liked him. I want to go back and like clip my first thought of him like, oh, I like this guy because he just was so cool. Like, and he just, I think when he came to the prison, you could just tell by his demeanor, how soft and calm he was and how open he was to to like accepting change and 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 yeah and he was just always such a nice person and obviously then we see the dark side and that's because of what immediately happens but I always held my belief that Rick banishing Carol to protect her from Tyrese was the wrong mindset because there there were so many other ways we could have dealt with it we could have spoken about it we could have had some kind of deliberation with the with the council Tyrese could have had his moment but, in saying that, maybe he wouldn't have forgiven her. That's what I will say. Me, back then, I didn't think he'd forgive her. I thought he wouldn't hurt her. I thought he would just almost, like, say, get away from me. Don't, I don't even want to see you again. And then the banishing could happen. That's what I thought the mindset would sort of be, be at. But, we're in this position where... She did get banished. They have now been through how much together. And all those experiences they've had together have shaped... Tyrese's understanding of Carol and shaped the way how he approaches forgiving her which is what's beautiful about it you know like as much as I think he should have found out sooner everything happens for a reason I think the little girl said that didn't she everything works out the way it's supposed to and I think that's very poetic in this episode so now she's told him so now for me it eliminates the stress or well, not eliminates it it diminishes the, the stress significantly for when we get to Terminus because now there's less of a discussion about how we deal with Carol. Now it's like Tyrese will probably vouch for her, right? Like there's, there really isn't a conversation to be had about banishing her anymore. Obviously, she shouldn't go unchecked and she shouldn't make those decisions going forward. She should know this now, right? Those decisions need to be thought about and she can't just make those decisions because she thinks they're right. There needs to be a conversation, which I've always believed. You know what? Who knows? Maybe she'll become a bit of a leader herself. But yeah, anyway, other than that, guys, we have the death of two characters this episode. Like, I think I said it during the reaction. I did say it, actually. I, I need to go back and clip how many times I forecasted what just happened. I think I said... She is too stubborn for this world and she is too sweet for this world. I think that's what I said, right? Look at how that's turned out after me saying that. She was way too sweet. Obviously, that's something you can that can change over time. That's something that obviously she didn't deserve to die the way she did. She, that's not how she was gonna die. Like, that's not how she should have died. She was still so young. She had so much developing to happen. You know, like, and maybe, just maybe, kids at very specific ages coming into the apocalypse, it was never going to work because they obviously were, they were brought into a bubble wrap situation. They were brought into a situation where they didn't really have to stress as much as they have now about the outside world. Whereas Carl, from the get-go, had stress. So that's, for me, is the difference, right? It's like, Carl has been forged in a very different way to these girls, and yeah, it still just blew my mind, actually, how different they are. Sweet and stubborn. Um, but it almost got crazy, like, I was thinking, like, what, how does she even have that belief? But then I think to myself, maybe that's just what happens when those beliefs go unchecked. When the belief like that simmers and, 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 and marinades in someone's stomach, it gets to a point when you cross a line you can't come back from. Like, it's like the delusion feeds the belief, and the belief feeds the delusion, and then what? Then you're stuck in a situation of, she is a danger to us. And then, like I said, they had no choice but to kill her. What else are they supposed to do? That's what sucked about this episode. It's like, that's what makes me angry about it. It's like, we couldn't get her before she crossed that line. She didn't need to die. She didn't need to die. 
but this world is too bloody harsh. The prison bubble wrapped us too much. A crazy thing about that is, I even spoke about this in the reaction, my belief on Carol's situation and her training the kids and teaching the kids the way she did. Yes, it was wrong because she didn't talk to the parents. That's a different issue. But the concept of her doing that is right. I don't know, maybe we could never have prepared for her. Maybe we couldn't have. Maybe we couldn't have. I don't know. It's, it's, it's one of those what ifs that I'll never be able to answer. <sighs> Gosh almighty. I hate the what ifs. I used to love what ifs and this show has ruined them for me. <laughs> but anyway, I, d I don't even think. It's just made me mad. I think I need to reconvene with you guys when I can. When I'm less flustered and frustrated with, with what we've just witnessed. So yeah, if you enjoyed, I hope you did. As ever, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for new content every single week. And of course, follow the Instagram, Daniel Reed with two Ds. I almost forgot it for a second. And let me know down below what you thought of the episode, the reaction. I'll get to those thoughts as soon as humanly possible. But yeah, that's all from me guys. As ever, this has been your boy Dan. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.